Okay, this is the 2013 tabular statements question. I start off by labeling the top of it. So you've got the opening January, February, April, uh, May, June, uh, August, and December. Now I'm leaving a couple of others just in case there's some that I want to split up into a number of different transactions. So I'll put the name of the assets down first to goodwill. Just check, and there is provision for depreciation. Uh, and the provision for depreciation only for land and buildings. And then we have vans. And it has provision for depreciation as well. Bank is listed as liability, but I prefer to put bank up here as a minus in the assets, as it, it's a little easier to deal with money coming in and money going out, pluses and minuses, if you think of it as an asset. So when I get more money, that will be a plus, rather than if I got more money and it was a liability, then that means that my liability would be minus. It doesn't sound logical. Getting more money, minus, that doesn't. So I find it easier to put it as an asset. So expenses due. And we've got issued share capital, uh, share premium, and profit and loss. So let's put the numbers in. So goodwill is 45, uh, land and buildings is 727. Provision for depreciation, so that'll be a minus 54. Uh, delivery vans is 90. Provision for depreciation is minus 40. Uh, stock is 91.6. Oh, I forgot that one. Uh, debtors is 55.8. And the bank figure is minus 15,800. And the creditors is 75,4. Expenses due is 4,200. And is share capital is 600. Share premium is 80 grand. And profit and loss is 140. So at this stage I should be adding up, but I'm not going to do that until the end, I'm going to have enough time. So I bought another build, uh, business, which included the buildings worth 350, so I had 350 on there. Uh, delivery vans worth 70. Stock worth 25. And creditors 30. So at this stage I need to find out how much the business is worth. So that's uh, 420 there, plus that's 445. Minus 30 means the thing is worth 415. Okay. That's what the business is worth. I'll be changing that number now in a second. I just need to work out how much we pay for it. We gave them 380 shares uh, at a premium of 20 cents. So that's going to be that, uh, the 380 times 0.2, so 76. So 486 is the total of the liabilities. Um, so that means this here, we gave them 456 for something that's worth 415. So that means 51 grand should be a good will. Uh, so adding up 
everything that happened there all the way down to the end. No, oh, it's 41 grand. Okay. Credit was owed, accepted delivery van and settlement of a debt. Delivery van and cost. So <clears throat> the debt is uh, he he was owed eight nine, so I get rid of eight nine from the creditors. So that's the first account. Delivery van. The van cost okay, so the book value of the van was whatever. It cost fourteen five, so I'll take fourteen five away from vans. Uh, the book value was nine five. Uh, it had cost fourteen five, so therefore it was five grand of depreciation take out. Now depreciation is a minus, so I'm gonna plus five grand. Uh, now that means that I gave something that was worth 9.5 to pay a debt of 8.9, so that means I made a loss, the profit and loss is going to have a loss of 600. <clears throat> Just check this works. He revalued the buildings at 120, including land worth 180. So that land is relevant when I do our depreciation, which will probably be at the end of the year. So the buildings are currently worth 727 and 350. Uh, so I take that away from 12 to find out how much it goes up by. So uh, that's it. minus that and minus. So it's going up by 123. I'll cancel all my provision for depreciation up to that date. So my re I have to create a revaluation reserve. And that's going to have the total of 177. I got a bank statement showing direct debit to cover advertising and a credit transfer. So I'm going to split this up into two and make it a bit easier. So this is going to be May uh, 1 and then May uh, 2. So uh, I a direct debit to cover advertising for the year. So that's going to be our bank is minus 8.4. And it's advertising for the year ended 30th of the 8th. So that's uh, now. So it's going to be, I'm going to have a prepaid down here in my assets because I don't pay too much. Now, how much is the prepaid? Uh, look at our dates. So at the top of the question says that the financial position is the first of the first of the year for this company starts at the beginning of January. And uh, that advertising is uh, to, for the year end of 30th of the 8th, so therefore eight months is going to be prepaid for next year. So it's going to be uh, the 8 4 times uh, 8 twelfths, because eight months of next year is prepaid. Uh, and that's going to be a plus zero. I don't know how so it's going to be a plus zero. So five six. Okay, so that means two eight is going to be the amount that I've used up this year in expenses. Uh, so the next one, a credit transfer received. So I received nine nine to cover eleven months receivable from the first of the third. So that means that some of the rent is going to be prepaid for next year. That's a liability because I owe that back to my tenants. So uh, it starts the expense for this year. This, this time I'll do it starting with the expense. Uh, sorry, the income for this year. It's going to be 11 months starting on the 1st of the 3rd. So that means I'll have used up 10 months and one month rent will be prepaid for next year. So the income is going to be 99 
times 10 uh, elevenths, because it's for elevenths. And the remaining 900 is going to be carried over to next year. Okay, so now we're on to June. <coughs> Delivery van cost 20, so I'll just go through the different accounts. So vans. So vans have gone up by 10 because I got rid of one worth 20 and I bought one worth 30. Allowance of five was made for the old one. The depreciation of the old van was 17 grand. So the provision for depreciation was 17 grand, so I'm going to take that out. Now, uh, how much did I pay? The new van cost 30. I got an allowance of 5.5, so therefore I was given. Uh, so 5.5 is the trade in. Uh, okay, so we'll use that when we work out our depreciation. So the check is going to be 55 taken away from 30 which is 24500 so that's a minus so add all those numbers together and I'll have to get the same figure down here So that means that, let's see, just check, measure for three, three, sorry, I just realised that's 17 grand plus, not minus. So that means I made a loss of two and a half grand. Or sorry, a profit of two and a half grand. Uh, okay. Payment of 2-4 was received from a debtor whose debt is previously written off and wants to trade again. This is 80% of the original debt. So I'm going to have to reinstate 20% of the debt. So 2-4 is 80, so 20% will be 2-4 divided by 4, because 20% is a quarter of 80%. So that means 600 has to be added to my debtors. So that's the amount of money that we're owed. 2-4 is the amount of money that came into bank. Uh, on the same day the goods were sold to Galva for 450 so I'll add on the 450 so I'll, that's 600 plus the 450 is 1050 uh, I sold 450 it was a markup on cost so how much did the goods originally cost so this 450 let's do it over here so we're going to have cost profit and sales so the sales is 450. Now that 450 is is a cost plus 25%. So that's 125%. So the profit, if I divide 450 by 125 and multiply by 25, I'll find my profit. So it's 450 divided by 125 because 450 is 125%. And I multiply the answer by 25. So 90 is the profit. So therefore. 360 is what the goods originally cost me. So the stock, I'll take out 360. And that means that da, 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 my profit and loss is going to be... Now, profit and loss is going to be the 90, the profit I made from selling the goods, plus the 3 grand, because the original debt would have been 2,400, Plus the 600 were so low, which is 3 grand, so the profit and loss is going to be plus 3090. Okay. Payments received from Galvis, so I've done that one, so that, I'm just labeling this there, that's August. Now, December. Depreciation uh, on buildings of the value. Now, just quickly check that when we did our April revaluation, we revalued our land and buildings at 1.2 and the buildings was 1.080. So my depreciation, so land and buildings, they're now going to be worth 1.200. And uh, the depreciation is going to be... So it's uh, that figure, and actually let's just put it in brackets. So it's 1.2 minus the 180 grand for the land only. I'm going to multiply all of that by 0 0.02. So that's my depreciation expense. And the other depreciation, delivery vans, is 28. Uh, 
so minus 28. So add those together. 48.4, so that means my profit and loss has to be 48.4. And that's it. So now what you do is you'd add along and you get your closing figures. But at this stage, because we've done all the transactions, we've now got about 80% of the marks, uh, maybe more. So it's going to take about another five minutes for us to add along and obviously get our totals here. We've got our, most of our totals for transactions. But what will take some time is adding all of these along here. Now what I would do is do the easy one first, the ones that don't involve using a calculator. So goodwill hasn't changed there. Uh, sorry, there is goodwill, what am I saying? I mixed in, I created a new goodwill, so really the two goodwills should be added in together, so that's a mistake. So I'll go fix that, so that figure then should be uh, 86. And I should have had 41 in there for that. Okay. Uh, so we know what our buildings are. And then we'll add in, so we'll do all the rest of our additions, and that should uh, get us all of the marks. But at this stage, we probably got closer to 90% of the marks. I hope that makes things a little bit more sensible.